disturbing stat on crime in Portland. There have been nearly 780 shootings in the city this year, and that is double. That, that number's double from this time last year. A 37-year-old man died in one of the most recent shootings, and our Mike Benner spoke to his family and police tonight about this trend. His purpose was to make people happy. The guy in the blazer's hat is Anthony McNaughton. The 37-year-old was shot Friday afternoon near Northwest Gleason and Broadway. There was nothing that warrants that. I don't, I don't care what the situation is. Sister Becca says Anthony died Sunday. She was at his bedside in the hospital. It probably was the most horrific thing I've ever been through in my life, watching my brother die. Unfortunately, the shooting that took Anthony's life is nothing new to investigators. Early Monday morning, officers responded to reports of gunfire near Southeast 136th and Bush. They found more than two dozen casings. A vehicle and house had been hit by the bullets. One neighbor we spoke with wasn't terribly surprised. Since moving out here about three months ago, um, you know, I've heard gunshot sounds from, my, uh, from the window at my house, like probably once a week. We have dedicated uh, investigators to this specific problem. Authorities are troubled by the uptick in shootings. Just this month, officers have responded to more than 85 shootings. That compares to 33 in November of last year. And if you think that's bad, listen to this. All of last year, there were just under 400 shootings in Portland. This year, with more than four weeks to go, there have been nearly 780. It's not attributable to any one thing. It's Lieutenant Greg Pashley of the Portland Police Bureau says the shootings cannot be attributed solely to the pandemic or the public's perception of police or even the nightly demonstrations. It's a combination of maybe some of those things and, and lots of other societal issues that have led people to put guns in their pockets, in their cars, and pull them out during trivial dis disputes. No explanation will ever bring back Anthony McNaughton. His family knows that much. What they don't know is who took Anthony's life and why. And I just hope that somebody sees Anthony's picture, somebody is willing to take that chance and come forward and have this person brought to justice. Our thoughts are certainly with Anthony's family. Lieutenant Pashley says that law enforcement is just part of the solution when it comes to ending this gun violence. The other part, he believes, is the community, meaning neighborhoods, families, and schools. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.